So first of all, thank you everybody attending our session about localize. I'll give you the introduction. Thank you all for coming. Um, a while ago, while our Drupal Dev Days with Ghent, we decided to um, launch a new initiative in order to port Drupal, uh, localize Drupal.org uh, to Drupal 9 and now Drupal 10. And we'll see what is Drupal, uh, what is localized and what about this, this initiative. So, first of all, who are we? Uh, we members of local community groups. Um, we, have a, ha, we'll, we'll, we all have an interest in Drupal being translated. Uh, all kinds of people, translators, developers, UX designers, uh, and sometimes f uh, at DrupalCon Prague, for example, for some first-time contributors. Uh, my name is Philippe. I live uh, quite the opposite from here, Perpignan which is at the very south of France, or very north of Catalonia, depending on how you, you view it. Uh, I'm the maintainer of the French translation of the user guide. Um, I help to translate uh, in French on Localize 2. And that, that was how I got involved in, in this initiative first. I'm a languages enthusiast and also maintainer of, maintainer of some modules. Hello everybody, I am Nicolas, I'm the current treasurer of the Drupal French Association. I am uh, also a maintainer of multiple projects and I had the chance to opt in this awesome initiative at the very beginning. So I'm glad being here to well, present it to you. I'm Thomas, I'm um, a French developer. Mainly um, uh, using Drupal, I love Drupal. Uh, I am um, a friend of Nicolas, that's why I'm <laughs> participating at uh, uh, this initiative. I also contributed a translation a while ago, so that's why I'm um, We had uh, 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 Philip say it was uh, la last year that uh, the project uh, began. Uh, it was at uh, Drupal Davis Day Ghent. Uh, many people uh, helped us uh, migrating uh, localize on, uh, and hope, including uh, that you will join us this week. Yeah, come on and join us. Uh, In the contribution on, room, we have our own on table. Friday to, to contribute. We have a special salute for Sanders that works a lot on Slack and for the others. About localize.drupal.org, uh, it's still currently built in D7. Uh, it enables the community to translate uh, Drupal core, but uh, also contributed module. Um, you can also share with others the translation and to make uh, those modules. That's the, that's the point. Uh, so, as I said, it's a translation server. It shares its translation file. Lots of translation. Uh, it's a collaborative tool, so it's interesting that you need a connection system for the translation of uh, languages, teams, and so on. Um, so yeah, that's the, the main dashboard, I will say, uh, where all the languages are. But um, if you have already contributed to, to translate Drupal or to use Drupal, the, uh, the, the magic comes from there. Yeah, that's the current uh, interface of the tool, the one we hopefully want to bring to the newer version of Drupal. Yes. 
So uh, it all started, as Philip said, uh, in Ghent in 2022. And um, we had several um, meetups and events, Drupal events, where we talked about it. Our goal is mainly to bring people in the adventure. We are really wanted to work with more people. We, there is much work yet to do. So here again, in DrupalCon Lille, our message is the same. Come and join us. We will pursue our com communication efforts, but mainly th that's that's the message. We can go on the other. Okay, so where are we today? That's the main question. Can we just check right now? First of all, everything is entity right now. So we've got entities for releases, for projects. We've got uh, entities for basically whatever um, concept that exists in the D7 version of Localize. And that's super cool because it works. Yay. <laughs> and we've got the working UI. Yay. So the D7 version, let's just show how it, how it works. It's basically the same. You can have your source, source text and translation and everything works perfectly fine. So, well, there is still a little, little bugs here and there in the, in the UI, but it works and that's fine. The word is alpha. Yeah, it's an alpha, right. And as you can see, we already can, well, grab every, every possible Drupal project. So here it's Drupal core with any kind of version with the alpha version of Drupal core here. And you can download them and you can translate them, import, export, PO files, how you want, how you would do it on the current version. Well, obviously there's still work going on. We are, we have awesome people here working on the UX part. We can show you some examples of things that should move in the future. So we are trying to improve the UI a little bit. There is still much work here because we are in between, you know, um, finishing the work with every features we need to port and obviously trying to improve things a little bit. So it's an in-between work right now, but we are planning some real good improvement here. And we had some great architecture choice. I think it's you, Thomas, who was supposed to talk about it here. Go on. Yeah, as, um, as I said, it's still on, uh, it's the it's the D7 version. So mainly, what we what we uh, made is to to port as it. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, we 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 more or less. Uh, change nothing on the way how it works in on D7, but we mainly focused on uh, the, adop the adoption of uh, D9 APIs on when we began. When we began, but now on T10 and we move and we use entities uh, models that bring us um, the I will say newly power of uh, of D10. Um, we more or less now not rely on the database query as it was on D7 because it was uh, lots of custom queries that uh, provided the, the result and for some uh, some technical reason it slows it a bit so we are all um, uh, reworking uh, the thing uh, using Drupal 10 APIs, and we also try to benefit of um, new technologies. For example, uh, for the for the search, are we gonna use uh, Solar, for example, to have a proper result and be uh, more um, accurate on the results sh uh, showed to to the uh, to the user, to the end user. Uh, as I told, the already said, the development began last year on a D9 um, version. Now we are using, uh, I migrated uh, the, the site on T10, more or less, it was quite smooth. 
the only problem or we had we had to change or to, uh, to replace Sika editor uh, to replace the first the first to five and uh, it was pretty smooth too so we have a fully functional d10 site uh, at the moment the only downside is that we we created the core initiative uh, on the community with the name the title was d9 port so we need to update that now for d10 Yes, my bad. <laughs> um, where are we standing? Where are we standing right now? Here at DrupalCon, up here in Country Brooms, we will be working. Uh, some of the issues is to migrate data from Drupal 7 to Drupal 10. Uh, some part has been done by uh, Stefan already. Um, the specific uh, Drupal part nodes, users, files, groups is okay, but then we have some decision to make about um, the millions of strings we have, the tens of millions of lines uh, that are in the database, and maybe migrate is not the good, um, the good tool here, so we've got to decide on the strategy here. Um, we're working on, uh, with the infra team, with Ferran Linares, um, so soon we will have a staging instance, so we will finally have a demo other on local instances. Uh, what we need here is to switch Drupal 10, it's okay, thanks to Thomas. Uh, good documentation for sysadmins, and also migrations should be ready by then. You can so, as I said, we have a really huge volume to process uh, regarding Alten and localized uh, data, and also hundreds of gigabytes of .po files which contain translation, which are downloaded from Drupal.org or generated every time uh, localized needs to process data, uh, localization string uh, data. So, we work on this. Yes. I know my slides, do I? Uh, <laughs> so, as I said, you're welcome to work on this or on, or on other issues. And really, it's, um, well, I don't know how to deal with it. With these hundreds of the gigabytes of PO files, even on a local instance, it's not so, so easy to deal with. Uh, tomorrow, there's a buff on crediting system. Um, this is this issue number. So it will be in room 2-1 uh, during the afternoon. And we will be wondering how we can capture uh, credits just as we do on Drupal.org. Because we're trying to do it to count the numbers of, of translations done by everybody, but there's a catch because somebody, you've got to correct the string and you've got as a moderator the credit instead of the contributor and plus, all credits are not captured on Drupal.org, but on an, other websites. So we need to, to discuss about it and then how to implement it. Because we're still um, uh, in the first phase, we, in the porting phase, we've not reached the point where we can provide new, uh, new improvements. Uh, we've got a roadmap, which is quite cool. It sounds easy, but it isn't when you have to, uh, to, to, co to coordinate an initiative like this, and you don't have much time, unfortunately. Uh, so now when you come to Country Broom, we can tell you, read the, road, the roadmap and tell us what, what looks good to use, what, what you'd like to work on. Um, and one of the main subjects I was talking about, and you were talking about uh, earlier, is this part of the, of the screen here, the onboarding thing. We've got a separate uh, localized repository with a Kickstarter thing you can easily install on your local machine. It's, I think it's public, you, you can just go on it and install the thing. Yes, it's, it's on gitlab.com. If you go to the roadmap, you've got other links to go there. And definitely the keyword is the right, the thing here that is of a line with red thing here. We definitely want to onboard as many people as we can. The objective is install this, test it, and help us make it better. And you've got also a meta issue here. Uh, I don't remember the number exactly, but come to us and we'll, we'll give you it. It's our roadmap. There are plenty of things in there. So, 
as I said, join us. Come on. Uh, you can find us on, localized, on Slack, on the Localized channel. We've got the roadmap but just right here. Here's the number. And we've got um, our um, weekly meeting on Thursday, every Thursday, between noon and two, for every people that have like calls or whatever at their jobs. So join us. We, we don't bite, I promise. And uh, hopefully we can make it go further. Can you just next slide? And no, that's I... just another one. Yeah. So thank you very much. We'll be uh, around in the contribution room upstairs. So join us. Uh, even if it's just to you know uh, talk about translation in general, the issues you're meeting with the current localized instance or whatever. Well, feel free. And I is put it. Uh, in one of his fables, uh, languages, language is the, is the worst and best of things. So be on the bright side and help us make it, make localized um, a better uh, platform. Yeah. So if you have questions, do we have some time for it? Team effort. No, so no question or perhaps issue you want to share or remarks? No? Okay. Any idea on a potential uh, delivery? Yeah, okay, delivery EPA? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully before Drupal.org in May, hopefully. <laughs> but I can take, I, I won't promise anything for, for the team. So <laughs> as soon as possible. Yesterday is a bit, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody.